It's Allison from the Law School Toolbox. Thanks for joining us for the second semester reboot series. Let's do it. The next common misstep is one that can have a cascading effect on your exam answer, and that's having an inaccurate or incomplete statement of the legal rule. So here's the problem. If you miss an issue, that simply means you don't get those points. But not having an accurate and complete rule statement, or not having one at all, which surprisingly enough does happen, is more frustrating because you feel as though you've addressed the issue, and yet you're not going to get the points necessary to do well. This is because of the larger effect of a poor rule statement. Not only does it cause you to lose points directly in the legal rule category, but it inevitably has a negative impact on your analysis, and then you lose even more points. Many students think the solution to this problem is an impossible one, unless you happen to have a photographic memory. They want to memorize the entirety of every single rule statement verbatim, so they can recite the rules word for word on the exam. Although memorizing really important rules word for word is advisable for a closed book exam, trying to learn every detail of every rule by heart is not necessary. It's not really the expectation of your professor. Instead, it's your understanding of the rule and how to apply it that's ultimately the key, not just memorizing the words. Of course, you always want to use key legal terms of art, but two students could recite the same rule in slightly different ways and both do well in the test. Some students come into the exam with a pendulum that swung the other way, and they feel that maybe understanding kind of the general gist of the rule is sufficient to answer an exam question. This is not the case. Even if it's not word for word, you need to know each legal rule in detail using elements so that you can logically work through a new factual scenario. So what's the solution to not having a good rule statement? Well, I mean, the basic fix is pretty obvious. You want to make sure you have a full understanding of each legal rule, element by element, and you, that you can write it down coherently. Now, usually the less you understand the rule, the sloppier your rule statement is going to be. But beyond that, you should keep in mind two things when you're preparing for and writing exam essays when it comes to rules. First, work on memorizing and understanding the rules in a holistic way. As we mentioned, you don't need a verbatim knowledge of every single rule, but you do need to know the core aspects of each rule and to be able to articulate them, including nuances and exceptions. As you make your study aids, think about how you'll use these rules on the exam and simplify each one down into elements you can understand and remember. This approach differs from simple memorization which you might do with flashcards or something like that. Law school rule memorization is really based on your understanding of the rule, of where it came from, how it fits within the subject matter, and what questions exactly it's meant to address. Once you have these extra layers of understanding, you'll find that remembering the rule itself is actually pretty straightforward. Second, you want to make sure your rules incorporate rule explanation where it's relevant. Rule statements must be accurate, but also thorough. Layering rule explanation helps ensure your rule statements are thorough as you explain the elements and how they fit into the problem the essay is trying to address. Furthermore, this has the downstream effect of helping to bolster your analysis. Without solid rule statements, it's really impossible to do good analysis because you have no basis to work from. So as you look over your exams, compare your rule statements to the sample answer. If they're not very similar, this is an area you'll need to focus on for next semester. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Hit us up at lawschooltoolbox.com to find out more about our one-on-one -on -one tutoring help.